<laughs> Hi guys. Hi. I just want to tell you that I'm so happy to finally meet you guys in person. I've been talking to you guys virtually since season one, and now here we are. Mm. <laughs> you came in, you came to play today. You came yes. Full shirt. He's of like on outer banks. I understand the assignment. <laughs> <laughs> so let's begin with you, Mr. Jonathan Pope. When I first see you guys in the beginning of the season. Um, it, it's almost utopian, right? I, you know, uh, treasure hunting kids are not treasure hunting anymore, but it's not true, right? Talk to us about, tease us about season two. I mean, season four. Uh, yeah, so um, like you said, like they're, they've kind of found a new space for them to exist. They got this new house, they got um, a business, so they're trying to like go straight and not yeah, do yeah. anything crazy or stupid, but you know, I think life kind of just happens to them and they make some, some interesting choices and they get thrown back into an, another treasure hunt. So. Yeah. You know, I think it just, I, they're just attracted to it. <laughs> or that's that's in their wheelhouse, mm -hmm. yeah. right? Yeah. Now, Miss Carlesia, yes. Cleo, mm -hmm. you and Pope here may make the third couple of the series, mm -hmm. right? How does your relationship evolve this season? We just go through trials and, and tribulations and unexpected events that happen in everyday life I think we're more we have to be humanized in a way this year that we haven't had to humanize each other and work through it together where usually like Cleo's used to like being by herself and just being on her own but this time she's doing it with Pope yeah. um, and just working through like their their relationship and issues that might come up and and growth and like needing things from each other if only JJ doesn't do his risk-taking ways, he'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> right. Jonathan, the theme of working together is more evident this season, I believe. Talk to us about that. Yeah, I mean, it's like there's they're they're the group of the Pogues, you know. Yeah. Like they um they saw they got to El Dorado through each other and by working together, and you know I think they take that sentiment into this season too. You know. I, when you got the group like that, like a, a friend group that's so tight and knows each other so well, you know, they just, they stick together and they try to get as much as they can done. And you know what I love about this season too is that uh, without revealing too much, there's a little bit of supernatural element here <laughs> yeah. too. Which yeah. is kind of like, wow, it's perfect for Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> now, Miss Carlesia, yes. uh, the first part of Outer Banks this season yes. premieres on October 10th, part one. Yes. And the second one is on November 2nd. Yes. Uh, 7th, yep. sorry. Um, these are viewers. What do you hope for viewers to get after watching this, this series, this season? The whole season? Yeah. I hope they get fulfillment yeah. and excitement. And obviously there's gonna be more friendship, more bonding, and maybe Entertainment. Some crazy like twists. Yeah, yeah, crazy twists. Crazy like twists roller coaster ride. Like enjoy the ride. Stuff people do not see coming. Yeah. Well, and they know the characters deeper this season yeah. too, right? Yeah. Um, so, Mr. Jonathan, talk to us about uh, y you know that character motivations. I think they're more present now. Like what I mentioned, JJ. JJ's risk taking is much more evident in this season. Yeah. yeah. Right. I mean, it's more character motivated. I believe. Talk to yeah. us about that. Yeah. I mean, I think everybody's kind of like on ten now. You know, we've we've lived in these characters for like five years at this point and we really got to see them like kind of evolve and, and how they handle certain situations. Yeah. So, if, you know, Pope is moving into this uh, area where he's taking on more responsibility, more leadership. He's trying to like make everything happen for his friends and of course, you know, risk happens and he has to like try to step in and clean that up and like go with the flow. Well, knowing your characters now more than ever, right? Do you think there's a lot more stories to tell? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah? Absolutely. Aww. Yeah. You have good characters. I think you can like literally have them do. They could run a car wash and it would be interesting. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, you, uh, with what you guys did, I mean, the the the, the Poglandia mm -hmm. or in Outer Banks itself. I mean, it become it became a rich element. I mean, a rich storytelling narrative. Mm -hmm. I believe. Yeah. 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 The world is very interesting. Like you could you could almost do anything with it now. Yeah. It began with just the rich and the poor kids and the yeah. treasure hunt. Now mm. it's bigger than that. Yes. yes. Right? Yes. yes. Aww. Yes. Well, a big congrats Thank on Outer you. Banks again. And I hope to see you guys live and in person for season five, okay? Hey. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you so much. Talk to you guys next.